this isn't gonna work. Hello again team, it's Jess or Jashi Curran and welcome back for another video. Not gonna lie, we weren't gonna be going with this kind of a video today. I was gonna be doing something a fair bit different <laughs> to what we have here. Something along the lines of taking you through the monthly reset process that I set up at the start of this year, showing you what all the steps look like, yeah yeah yeah. But then I realized that would not be helpful to anybody. <laughs> While I totally stand by the things that I have on this list, and some of them I do do. <laughs> do do. Some of these things I do get done. I don't do all of them consistently. So having a video of me walking through all of these steps wouldn't really be... Truthful? Don't get me wrong, I love this list. Past Jess did a great job of nutting out all of these things, and condensing them, and categorizing them, and putting it into this pristine list. But look at this list! It is so long! Ain't nobody got time for all of these things! Honestly, looking at it, most of the time I just feel overwhelmed. So I do maybe one or two elements consistently and then... yeah. So today, instead of taking you through those steps, what I figured I'd do is I'm going to set up a new list. And I figured I'd take you along to see the process. Before we actually get into writing anything down, I figured we'd just go through, like, what do I actually want from a monthly reset? Well, first and foremost, I'd like it to be manageable. I don't want it to be the kind of thing where I look at the list and instantly get overwhelmed and then don't do any of the things. I'd like it to help me build a habit of constructive reflection. So not reflection for the sake of reflection, but reflection that's purposeful and helps me actually move forward. I'd like it to help me ensure that I'm scheduling both work-related things and self-care related things. Because if you watched my goals video, you know that my work-life balance is shit. <laughs> Come on, Jess, you said you weren't going to swear in this video. But in general, for I really just wanted to help me get organized for the month ahead. Taking this as an excuse to crack into the Archer and Olive, I don't know, Gynomator notebook that was part of the subscription box. Ugh. Look at how big this thing is. It is bigger than my head. Beautiful. This one's their lined notebooks, and I don't usually have a lot of use for lined notebooks, so I figured it can be kind of like a brainstorming journal. You know how the first page of a notebook is usually kind of stuck together with the, like, cover page? I don't really like that, so I tend to just very gently pull them apart. Gently, because we don't want to, I don't know, ruin the structural integrity of the journal. But anywho, I'm going to use this journal essentially just to do a brainstorm of my ideas. So thinking about when am I going to do my monthly reset, how, who, what, all of that kind of stuff. Ma mainly what, yeah. What am I going to do as part of this? So I'm going to put on some music, get out a pen, and write myself some ideas. That's a pretty good list. Drop a pen! Ah! I feel like I'm holding a boombox. Anywho, so as you can see I've got my kind of brainstorm going on here, so some ideas about the when and with who and then some actual ideas about what it would include. Now what I need to do is take these ideas, eliminate anything that's kind of redundant, doesn't really need to be done, group the like things together, which hopefully shouldn't be too bad because I did a mind map and then make sure that the ones that I'm selecting actually align with my general purpose for doing a monthly reset. Because again, I want it to be manageable, I don't want to fill it with a whole bunch of clutter that's not really getting me to where I want to go. But first, drink break! <sniffs> I know that one of my monthly habits should be to not drink Coke Zero, but that's not going to happen, so... That is now warm because it's been sitting out for too long! <laughs> <laughs> so my highlighting's done now. I've highlighted my main categories, things that are getting done on other days, so things that I won't like do as part of the reset, but I might schedule as part of the reset. 
I've also highlighted tasks that I kind of want to do towards the start of the reset, because then things that come later kind of rely on them having been done. Now though, I'm going to go and write out my first kind of draft as to the steps that I want my monthly reset to actually take. And I think I'm probably going to keep the same categories as I had in the original one from the start of the year. So those were bullet journal, goals journal, calendar, and then notion. But because I'm kind of trying to simplify my planning system, I might actually get rid of the notion section for now because I don't really know what's happening with my notion just yet. So don't want to spend a whole bunch of time and effort putting in steps for it for my monthly reset only to not use them. Hand cramp and a half later, we have a list. This is only a first draft and I'm gonna have to actually run through it at the end of this month to see if there's anything that needs tweaking. But at the moment, the things that I have are doing an initial brain dump to get all of my thoughts and feelings out. You can see I also put little timestamps in here so I know roughly how long I want these things to take me. I've got a section about updating my bullet journal, so updating the current month's stuff and the yearly trackers. Also populating any known upcoming events that I have in the next month. We then have the reflection process, which is in my bullet journal and also in my goals planner, which I'm intending to take about 20 minutes. So I'm going to have to think about what questions that I ask myself as part of those reflections so that I get the most out of them, but they don't take way too much time. We then have the selecting and scheduling section. Yes, I know I said I was going to have the same sections as I had at the start of this year, but I changed my mind. So we have selecting the habits and action steps for the next month, and then we have scheduling all of my other events. So figuring out when I'm going to do my content batching days, when I'm going to do my self-care activities, etc. And the general plan at the moment is for that to take roughly 10 minutes. And then the last little bit is a personal reset. So that's kind of doing my end of month feel good tasks, like doing a full body scrub, having a hair mask, having a face mask. And I've just written that I will be taking as long as I need. I'm hoping that this simplified version of my list helps me stay a little bit more motivated to actually get my monthly resets done. But I'll let you guys know, once I have a go at this, as to how successful that was. Question of the day for you guys though, if you were going to do a monthly reset, what would you include? Obviously because mine's about trying to maintain work-life balance and trying to get myself organized and that kind of stuff, my tasks might look a little bit different to yours. So I'd be curious to know what you guys would include. I know the format of this video was a little bit different to anything that we usually do, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more on planning, productivity, and personal development. Until next time, bye! Did I tidy up my desk for this video? You betcha!